reaching out to other people in, the in, in different industries and seeing what the results are, especially those that have already done TV in different industries. Right. Get some data, and then when we feel like we've got some good data, then we start launching. So what are those things that you're saying, like, you know, like there must have, as far as a commercial, you're saying, like, you know, you, you're looking at his thing, he doesn't have the five pieces. Like, what are some things that are must-haves? In a, in, a, in a TV commercial. Yeah, so, I mean, you could have the perfect commercial, but if you're not hitting the right avatar, if you don't know who it is and you're not hitting those sh right shows, then you're hitting the wrong people. Mm -hmm. You're just not gonna get the phone to ring. So that's that's one thing. Um, two, two is a clear call to action. I mean, have you ever seen like a billboard or um, just like, you know, pretty decent commercials and they just have no call to action, mm -hmm. right? You yeah. know, and so for ours, we have a clear and defined call to action and it's there on the screen the whole time for them to see it. Um, there's easy to remember phone number and website. Like if someone can't remember the phone number, someone can't remember the website, they're going to Google and you're not going to be found. I mean, you might be if you're doing right. PPC or if you have a bunch of reviews on Google and it pops up on the map, you know, or if your SEO is really good, but chances are, you know, you're going to be competing with a lot of others. Even if they do see you on the top, they're going to see the next four, four guys mm -hmm. and they're going to go, Oh, maybe I need to call them. Right. Right. So that, that's a big thing. Um, and then uh, the messaging, you have 30 seconds to get your message across. So like, it needs to be clear, it needs to be concise. And I don't consider myself a copywriter, but I, I feel like I'm pretty good at like copywriting when I yeah. write like for my you know websites and stuff like that. So I wrote my scripts in the beginning and they worked really well. And it's just like, who are you? What do you do? What problem can you solve? And what are the advantages of using you? Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just, you have to portray that in 30 seconds. Yeah, it wasn't you know? it for me. Uh, if someone wanted to see one of your ads, one of your commercials, like where would they go to find this? Um, you go to remtv.com, uh, remtv.com. Um, you can see, you can't see the full commercial, but you can see some clips of it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that I really have a full commercial on, on a website right now. Yeah. Or uh, the clips of, of the commercials that we have. Got it. Yeah. So you're early on this journey to expand. Uh, do you have like a time frame on this? To expand to outside real estate. Yeah, so you know, we, we really want to service the real estate industry well. So we want to do that really well for the next probably six to twelve months, especially as we add radio to the mix. Mm -hmm. um, I I just hired a, a, a decent sized marketing team in the last I think it's about six months ago, and so we've been ramping a lot of things up since then, and so. Um, I want to make sure that we get everything dialed in before we start um, outside of our industry. Um, but I would say we'd probably start testing in the next six to nine months, just putting some feelers out there, maybe um, maybe just you know reaching out to some other people in, the in, in different industries and seeing what the results are, especially those that have already done TV in different industries. Right. Get some data, and then when we feel like we've got some good data, then, um, then just, just start launching.